So I, I do a lot of um, diagnosis, right? I'm getting really good at this, like real good. It actually makes me happy. And so this morning, um, as I've been doing every morning, is uh, walk my dogs, um, come in and get a cup of coffee, get in front of my laptop, log into these groups, right? And of course, as I stated before on previous videos, the first thing you hear is the agony, the pain. Um, for the majority are women. I don't really see men as open as women, as we are always, right, as women. And um, I come across posts, and when I do, <clears throat> uh, I reach out to them, and and I let them know, like, hey, uh, can I help offer a suggestion, you know, or advice on what may be contributing to your boil or pain or what you're going through right now. And uh, so on one this morning, uh, and I can't screen share or because I don't like to invade other people's privacy, you know. So, but I can share the stories that are the conversations that are held because they're anonymous. And um, I ask her, you know, so what'd you eat this morning? You know, that you're in pain. And of course, she's from the UK. So I was like, oh, okay. She's like, I already ate a bunch of stuff. I was like, oh, okay. And uh, so I'm going to go with what the most recent thing is and then work from that time going backwards. And the reason why I do that is because when you have a flare or when you have um, pus, your pus level, your flare, your level of pain in general um, is going to be based off of what you last ate. And a lot of the times you're going to find out um, what it is real quick. You just really got to pay attention to what you're eating, you know? And so I've gotten real good at that because that's how I diagnosed my son or how I was able to help my son. And so I asked her, you know, what did you eat this morning or, or earlier today? You know, the last thing since she's in the UK. And she said, well, you know, I had some tea and bread. And the bread and tea, the tea was just regular tea, which is fine, no dairy included. And she said that the bread that she had... Uh, was called War Warbitons Warbitons uh, bread. I'm not familiar with uh, Warbitons, and I'm pretty sure I'm saying it wrong. So I apologize. I'm not gonna. I am like the worst speller, and if it wasn't because of spell check saving my life every time, I would spell everything incorrectly. And you would think like this chick is over here researching stuff, and <laughs> but yeah, I'm just being the truthful, and um. I said, okay. I said, well, based off of what you ate so far, I said, there is wheat in your bread. And so I sent her a screenshot of the ingredients of the bread that she ate uh, just a few hours ago. And she's like, well, I don't eat bread like that all day. I said, okay. Got it. I get that a lot, you know, because it's skeptical. I know. It's hard. It's hard to believe someone can tell me where my pain is coming from because I'm that I'm that person too. I want to see it to believe it. So I said, okay, well, we found out number one. I said, you don't eat a lot of bread. Okay, gotcha. I said, what did you eat before that? She said, well, before that I ate, um, I ate a uh, roast beef. I want to make sure it's called roast beef. Oh, sorry, no. It was belly pork. She's like, I ate belly pork, roast, potatoes, peas, and carrots. I said, oh, okay. Was the meat seasoned? Because sometimes, like, our food is already pre-seasoned. So, I don't know if it's already contained, marinated, and whatnot. Sorry, my dogs are annoying. And, um, she's like, no, I fried it in a pan. So, my next question would have been, like, you know, what did you use? What kind of oils? But she kind of volunteered more information. She's like, fried it in a pan. Can you take the dogs outside, baby? Thank you. And she goes, I fried it in a pan, and I added Bristol gravy. And I'm like, Bristol gravy, I don't know what that is. So the way she spelled it, it was spelled differently. And so when I went to go Google it, I'm like, oh, is this it? So I sent her a picture of the container. And she's like, oh, yeah, that's it. I said, oh, I'm glad that that's it. Because when I looked at the ingredients, lo and behold, first thing I see was wheat 
flour contents. And so with gravy, gravy is super heavy. You know, we all know that. And her first word was, really? I said, oh, yeah, yeah. I said, so this is why you're in pain. I said, you just had a whole bunch of gravy with wheat in it. You just added some more wheat in that little slice of bread. I said, so um, it's safe to say that you are gluten sensitive at this point. And this is why you're in a lot of pain right now. And she's just like, I've seen your progress on the groups. And I said, well, go look at the videos, you know. There's a lot of information in the videos that I share. And um, sometimes we just need to really sit down and break down what it is that we eat to really truly understand what it is. Because even with her bread, her bread has, uh, let's see, what else? It was wheat flour, water, yeast, salt, vegetable oil. Again, it says plain Plain as day, wheat, gluten. <laughs> it says it literally on the damn ingredients. That's crazy. <clears throat> and then when I went to go look at the Bristol, it's uh, wheat, flour, uh, sugar, flavoring, flavor enhancers, and um, thiamine, calcium, but mainly just wheat and flour. Oh, uh, palm oil, salt, potato starch. And... And again, I'm not saying that people who say, I can't eat potato. But man, potato is in a lot of ingredients. A lot. I didn't really realize how much potato is so versatile and how often it's used in so many things. And you don't even realize that you're eating it. So I always say, like, don't sign off on potato completely. If it's seasoned, check your seasonings in that. Check the ingredients on that packet. But potatoes, I don't, I honest, truly do not believe is bad for you. And it's crazy because I was just talking to someone from India yesterday. And um, there's a type of bread that they eat or and it's a, a tortilla based. And it's uh, primarily wheat. And so he's like, oh, okay, that's what it is. I'm going to stop eating it because they eat it three times a day. And so then um, <laughs> this, and he's a kid. So he sends me a message uh i last night and in india it's like morning over there and he's like i i i believe that i got a flare because of my coffee i said your coffee i said that's weird i don't think it's coffee because then if that was the case i'd be flaring too but i was thinking well maybe he added milk in it i said well what was in your coffee and he goes i don't know my brother made it for me i said okay well was your coffee black or was your coffee like a cream, like a light brown? He goes, it was light brown. I said, okay, well, then your brother is trying to kill you. <laughs> I said, no, I'm playing. I said, your brother put milk in it. I said, so now we know you're dairy sensitive. Because he didn't know if he was dairy sensitive when I first talked to him. So I said, so now we're going to go ahead and add some more limitations. I said, before I told you to no longer eat wheat, I am now going to ask you to now go away with dairy. And he's like, oh my God, thank you so much. It's little things like that that are going to make a big difference on how you're going to feel the next day. Because he said that he felt a lot of relief. 